Yes, yes, yes. We're live here at the Shani Jack Me Show. And I'm sitting here with the greatest gods, a human god is. Hells yes. What up, what up, what up? Yes, yes, yes. Hells yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. We met online, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah. You know, and um it was a great opportunity that he reached out to me and um wanted me to come to his listening party. And I thought that was so motherfucking dope because I had never been <laughs> to, a, <laughs> to a listening party. <laughs> and then and so when I got there, it was um, oh my God, it was everything. He had a nice setup and what just blew me away was the music. Appreciate it. And um we're gonna talk about that. Your okay. music. We're gonna go to your music first. Yeah. Um first of all, your name, Hells Yeah. Where did you get that from? Because that's that's like, you know. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's a little story that goes with that. Um, it started out as a joke. Okay. Uh, my name used to be Equinox. Okay. Um, and still a lot of people still call me that, people from from, from the past. Um, but I was on the phone with my homegirl one day. It was like so many people who had the name Knox. You know, it was Mickey Knox. It was Mike Knox. You got Fort Knox down here. You right, know, right. You know, so it was just like that. I'm like, I was like, yo, I'm going to change my name to something like Hell's Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, uh, that don't sound too bad. Right, you know, right. you know, when a chick tell a dude don't, something don't sound too bad, you know. We um, go for it. You yeah, know, yeah, like, okay. Go for the okie doke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the okey female okey make a nigga feel yeah, good. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know? you know what I mean? So it was like, but it kind of, it, 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 it really fit because, you know, Hell's Yeah is not, I don't really consider it a name. It's more like a statement. You know what I mean? Um, I wanted my music. I wanted everything I did to be a statement. My right. music, whatever I got involved in was supposed to be, is 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 going to be a statement. Absolutely. So, you know, and then who can't relate to Hell's Yeah? Who hasn't said Hell's Yeah hell in their yeah, life? You yeah, know what I right, mean? Hell like, yeah, especially with So my name good. is in everybody's mouth. Right. You know don't get in it. Don't get in it. Stay in it. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hell yeah, and I said that. Shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that so, was, yeah. you know, that was that was that was that was that was the evolution of just like myself like going through name changes and that just happened to stick. Okay, and I yeah. like it. You know, absolutely. That was good that you chose that. Mm -hmm. And you said from your past, and mm -hmm. you're not originally from Atlanta, so where you originally from? Because we already Brooklyn. hear it, already yeah. hear it, you know, <laughs> son, you know what I'm saying? Brooklyn, <laughs> yeah, Bro Brooklyn, Brooklyn, born and raised. Brooklyn, you know, okay. Um, a lot of my roots, my a lot of my everything that I started with happened in Brooklyn. Okay. You know, mainly the music. Um, I started out with with Dr. Period and Smooth Hustler and them. Um, right around the time when MOP separated fr from them. So I got, I you know, I got it. I got involved over there in music with um with DR period. Okay, so yeah. growing up in Brooklyn, how was it to you? You know, because it's, it's when I hear Brooklyn, I just always think about bricks and you know just <laughs> shit hard. You know what I'm saying? See, <laughs> like that, life is rough. You yeah, know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, the, the neighborhood that I grew up in was more like a quote unquote middle class okay. neighborhood. Um. So it wasn't wasn't too 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 rough like the surrounding areas. I was, we was right next to Brownsville. I grew up in an area called Bushwick. Okay, we was right next to Brownsville, which is probably considered the roughest roughest part of um, Brooklyn. Okay, um, and Bed Stuy. So the dynamics in Brooklyn, the reason why you find Brooklyn everywhere is because we can exist everywhere because of all the dynamics we had to deal with okay. in Brooklyn. Okay, like the type of person can change from block to block. You know, it's especially from neighborhood to neighborhood is where I try to explain to people, you know, you had to be you had to be a chameleon. Okay. You know, in um, them streets. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. You had to you, <laughs> yeah. you had to know what area you was in to know how to how to move. Like in Brownsville, Brownsville probably got the grimiest niggas in the universe. Mm. You know what I mean? Can I say niggas? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, hell yeah, you can say niggas. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, Brownsville, Brownsville, <laughs> Brownsville, like they they take the shirt off your back at gunpoint. With you know, and not even blink about it. So, you know, you had to know how to move being in there. Even if you knew somebody from Brownsville, okay. you couldn't just go to Brownsville. Right. You know what I mean? Like it, 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 it. territorial yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm real, real, you better real know your, your auntie, yeah, your yeah, grandmama. Yeah. They yeah. better be there. You better yeah. have a house to run to. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, <laughs> and in Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn, you know, is considered the 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 fourth largest city based on population. Okay. You know, and it, it's physically small. Okay. You know what I mean? Gotcha, so you got gotcha. people, you got people on top of people, 
you know, um, I took I took her to, to to Brooklyn. She was like, "Oh, these these is real projects." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, "Well, I don't you know, know about going there. This shit real." I've been watching the, movies. And these shit. joints go twenty stories high. You know what I mean? Real. You got project. twenty story highs, and mm. then you got you got twenty apartments on each floor. Okay. You know what I mean? So right. it's it's it's, Ooh, it's, it's, it's people, yeah. people, people, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feeling yeah. everything? Exactly. Everybody, especially if you're an energy feeling person. Yeah, yeah. You catching all of that, you yeah. know? And yeah. but it's good. It's good for the. It's, it was good for the the growth, the, 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 the growth exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, to be able to, to to mingle and mix with a lot of different energies and a lot of different personalities. And that's what I feel that you know that I mean? you feeling a lot of energy, you know, yeah. on top of people like that. And and it's crazy that they set that shit up that oh, way. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very you it's know? a very unhealthy environment. Right. You know I mean? Oh, <laughs> very you unhealthy. Said it, you said yeah, it. You yeah, know, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's probably why. But those um, those who come out of it, you okay. know, can can you know. You they know, can Jay's, take it Jay-Z's anywhere. a prime example. Jay-Z come from one of the most popular projects right. in Brooklyn, which is Marcy Projects. You know, and he had a, there was a projects right next door to them, which was Tompkins. Oh, mm-hmm. So you got projects next to projects. You know? Oh, y'all bouncing off. <laughs> and they had war with each other. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? So you, you come up, you come outside, you don't know what you're coming yeah, yeah, outside yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga fighting and all yeah, night, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just fighting, it's shooting. Killing the up. <laughs> see, we I'm used to some old little fighting shit. You see what I'm yeah, saying? In the south, yeah, we just fight. Yeah. We, <laughs> Even like if, if you met a chick and she lived in projects, you was like, oh, you gonna have to come to my house. Oh man, really? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't pulling up on you shouted. Nah, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I made that mistake one time and never again. For real, so yeah. I won't be nah, yeah. won't yeah. lay down mm-hmm. at your house. Nah. Won't be spending no nights nope. over there. That nope. is so no, funny. Man. So, who are your influences? Because I hear you call like Jay Z, you mm-hmm. know. And so, do you got a lot of influencers coming from Brooklyn, or do you take you know your music sound and style West Coast? Yeah, East I'm Coast. pretty a mixture. Like I, I always say, if you know, Jay Z and Scarface had a baby. I'm that baby, I, and you really are because yeah. you're sounding. Um, and that's funny because we talked before, and that's who you sound like to me, Scarface. You when I, when I hear your music, mm-hmm. and I hear you, your tone, you in the face. You you definitely you know have embraced Scarface's yeah. um, sound, yeah. and because yeah, he, he, you know I, I like artists with heavy voices, mm-hmm. you know, and he has that heavy voice, that voice that commands attention absolutely you know so that was one of the things that really i gravitated to with with scarface besides like his you know his his lyrical proudest um um and then jay-z's cleverness absolutely you know what i mean so it's, it, it i i i really studied those two to create my create myself create yourself that's yeah. that's good mm-hmm. so what made you come to atlanta how did you find yourself here quality of life Okay, see the, all those projects and that unhealthy yeah. living. Came to come down here with some trees once yeah. to get Not some only oxygen. that, it's like New York. New York, it was, it was, it was, it was nothing right. there anymore. You know what okay. I mean? Like, you know, the prices of everything going up, but the salaries aren't. You know what I mean? Like, okay, which is what's happening everywhere. Well, yeah, you know that's what I mean? But, now. but, but, Absolutely. you know, in, in, in New York, it's like even with the prices down here, people be like, "Yo, it's expensive." I'm like. I will say I'm straight. Yeah. Look, I, I can manage this. this is right. The, right. the amount of money y'all paying for rent, I could get yeah. a big old house. You exactly. know, the exactly. money that you paying up north, mm-hmm. you can come down here and get you four bedroom houses. Right. You know what I'm and saying? And Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta was was you know it's 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 become a a, a musical hub. You know, so it just made sense. You know, okay. when I moved, when I was making the decision to move down here, it was either Charlotte or Atlanta. And people was talking to people in Charlotte. They was like, nah, go to Atlanta. Yeah, look, you know don't come I mean? here. We, yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, and like New York was just, like it was taking years off my life. Really? Yeah, it, it was, was you draining. know, just, just like, just one simple thing, you know. You know, I live the studio life, of course, so I get home late, 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Right, right. You know, get home, and I got to drive around for another hour looking for parking. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. Then I got to be up an hour and a half later to move the car because I'm parked <laughs> on the wrong side of the street because alternate <laughs> side street parking. Like, you know, like Damn, now... Damn, sick on the street, three yeah, up the shit, and now I got to move this. my car. Then if you park on the hydrant, you got to wake up before the traffic cop come out <laughs> so you don't get a ticket. Yeah, it's just too... So you're not getting too no stressful. rest. No. You, you, you're yeah. moving too much, you exactly. know, so, yeah, that and it's a good thing. So when you you came out here, you was like, damn, I got space. Man, you know, this listen. <laughs> Yes. I don't think I look for parking since I've been down. Here. Are you serious? So, cause so and even when you're looking for parking, it's not a problem. No, no, it no, ain't. No, even, we oh, we no. can do this. This yeah. ain't nothing right exactly, there. Exactly. So, so I um I I know you got a studio because mm-hmm. we did. That's where you did your listening party at. Yep. And that's is that the um, one dynasty. Well, the building is Vision Studios, and I I, I have a, I have a couple of spaces inside the building. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, but the studio is the studio name is One Dynasty Studio. Okay, that's the name of the studio. Mm-hmm. So, what you do at the studio is people have a chance to come and 
record or do, do you produce music? How is it in one dynasty? Well, I, I, I focus a lot on artist development. Okay. Um, I've, I've converted or changed the culture of the studio um, from just doing hourly studio time and stuff like that because it really does it really does nothing for the artist. You know, artists come in booking two hours and trying to do five songs, you know, in two right. hours. Right. You know, um, or they're coming in and they're spending two hours trying to record a verse. You know, I'd rather work on projects. Right. You know, so I do production, I do mixing and mastering as well. So that's where a lot of my work comes in from, you know, doing the mixing and mastering. Right, right. Um, but yeah, as far as like I try to stay away from the studio time. You know, if I need a couple of dollars, I'll do it. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? I saw you post one time, you was like, shit, y'all around right here on some old stupid shit. Yeah, just trying, you know, exactly. I, I don't have time for that. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. Let, let's just create, let's let's build you as, right. as an artist. Yeah. Not just coming in here wasting my time. I'm you know, I don't yeah. come on now. Cause yeah. that's basically what it is, time yeah. for money. Yeah, you, you know, know, when you got when you got, you know, and I, I know I understand, you know, everybody has their creative process, but it's like, you know, when guys gotta when you gotta punch in words for folks, you know, they can't <laughs> get through a bar, you know, recording. You know, it's 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 it becomes more stressful right. for me and it puts more stress on the engineer. To sit there, keep punching, keep punching, rewinding, recording, deleting it. You know, right. it's, I, don't, I, just, I don't want to do all that. We don't yeah. want to do that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. got kind of consuming, and yeah. and it's overwhelming, especially yes. when artists really don't even know who they want to be at right. the time. You right. know, they coming right. in and they're just trying to develop themselves, so ready to just put out something. Mm -hmm. And then know? they're watching these guys. You know, they feel like, oh, you know, the way to make music is to go in and you know just kind of spit anything that comes out, and it's like. You know, just be, just because you see other artists do it doesn't mean that it's meant for you. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You, know, you don't know what the you don't know what the the journey of that artist was to get to that point to be able to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. To be able to right. go in the booth and just you know go for it. Go for it. You know what I mean? Like that's not that's not for everybody. So like you said, it's like artists trying to find themselves. Yeah. You know. They they they're not finding themselves. They they're trying to follow a, a trend right. of, of 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 or trying to follow a work ethic, not knowing what that journey is. Right. Not they know, see so. somebody doing a Jay Z, and then they thinking right. that you can just go in there and just you know get your little paper if you. But need see, your that's paper. the but that's the misconception is that Jay Z doesn't freestyle. Right. Jay Z actually, I mean, because I do it myself. I write in my Absolutely. head. Absolutely. We you know we compose the whole verse in our head, even if it's just four bars at a time. Right. You know we're not we're not in the booth. Trying to think right there. It's right. like we're outside, we can put it together and then go in the booth and spit it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So it's like it's just taking a process away from either writing in the phone or writing on paper. You know, it's just you're just doing it. You as know, it, mentally. As it right. Yeah. From mm -hmm. the from the state of the mind. Yeah. So I got, I know that you got an album that just came out, The mm -hmm. Last God. Yes. And um and then unfortunately I had the time to have the first ears on it. Yes. And oh my God, it was it was your boss mm -hmm. is the way you put it, and I know you call yourself the pharmacist. Bar pharmacist, yeah. pharmacist, yeah. You know, <laughs> pharmacist. No, so play, because play off a of pharmacist, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, the yeah. pharmacist yeah. is excellent because mm -hmm. um, you you really do take your time in your music. You mm -hmm. don't. You not. You can tell that this is not rushed. Even if you just came up with it, you mm -hmm. know. I can tell that you um, took your time, you know, and you you uh, pronunciating the words, you mm -hmm. know, is clear, you know, and a lot of musicians or artists these days, you know, the mumble rap, you know, mm -hmm. and no disrespect to it because it, it's doing what it it's do. It's a vibe, yeah. You know, it mm -hmm. has its moments. It gets you going, you know, right. you can ride, you can lead a club and you can crash your car to it, you know, because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the energy it's bringing, <laughs> yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, you, you do pop a pills with mm -hmm. it, you know, it kind of mm -hmm. puts you in all types of different directions. And, right. But with your music is, and like I was speaking with another artist and we was talking about, Brooklyn artists mm -hmm. and people from up north how you guys make us listen. Right. You know, we have to listen. Mm -hmm. you, you, you got the beat and everything, but we're like, damn, what he's saying? You know what I'm saying? Because right. he, he's saying something, right, you know, right. and, and with your music, you're saying things. And um, the song Call Me God, mm -hmm. how did you come up with that? Well, I came across the, the, the teachings of a, a scholar named um, Reverend Ike. You know, um, and he talks, he's kind of like the pioneer of this, the law of attraction and, you know, knowing the God within. So, you know, listening to his teachings and, you know, um, he actually intros the song mm -hmm. where, you right, know, where, right. he's, where he says every man is God, 
you know, by his own of his own experience, mm-hmm. you know. So I, I really, really took that in because I, you know, I, I studied a whole, you know, um, Kemet, you know, um, Kemetic science, um, the mystery school system, you know, um, of our of our ancestors. Mm-hmm. So you know, bring that all into full circle. You know, call me God is like, yeah, we are we are all gods. Absolutely. You know what Absolutely. I mean? And I want I want everybody else to recognize themselves as, as a such, god. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Because Absolutely. then you know, you 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 move differently, you talk differently, you know, you treat your women differently. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um and you it's just a it's just an elevated state of state of being that, you know, so calling me God, you know, like I said in the rhyme, you're like some might call it blasphemy. You know what I mean? But not even understanding what I'm saying. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, it's like we all, we all are gods. Created in his image. Right. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's where that that particular song came from. And then I like yeah. that song. I really pr- appreciate it, you mm-hmm. know, because like you said, we are gods. You know, right. we were created in this image and we have downplayed ourselves so well to where we... When we hear someone say, shoot, I'm like God, or I'm God, mm-hmm. you know, we thinking we, we, oh, you're taking something from, you know, right. that's not, like, the you funny said. thing is, like, before, before me, you know, or I consider being enlightened, um, is that I used to roll with five percenters and they used to call themselves God all the time. I'd be like, man, get out of here. You right, can't create right, nothing. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, it was, it was a joke amongst us. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. You know, absolutely. so even some of them, like, now they hit me up and they be like, uh-huh. ah, now you, so now, now you, you see. Now, so now you on the plane. You on the right, same plane Right, now. right, right. So you they have, got jokes on me right, now. Right, now, you know now the mean? jokes on you. You know what I'm saying? Your elevation, your elevation. You know, so that's, and there's nothing wrong with Coming into that. No, no, no. Everybody everybody has their own path. You know what I mean? Like, so when people get mad, when, you know, you know, other people are trying to teach people and they get mad because right. they're not accepting right. it. It's not, nah, just plant those seeds. That's it. You know, and that's what I, I feel my music is. Even if people don't get it now, you know, I mean, it's it's 23 songs on an album. Absolutely. It's a, it's a lot to take in. It is. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's like if people don't get it now, I'm cool with that because right. like even now, like even when I listen to Rock Him, I catch stuff. Now. Right, right. You know what I mean? And we're talking about back in the late 80s. 80s. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, you know, and that's what, and that's what our music that's is. That's timeless it's music like timeless yeah. music, you that's, know what I And mean? that's what you have created. You have created something that's really before its time. I appreciate that. And, and when that happens, of course it's not respected for the now. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So what what you have done is set us um, a new standard that has yet to come. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I appreciate you for um, just even taking the time to have that type of mentality to study, to get to know who you are, and you're not just out here rapping about Clothes, cars, you know, jewelry, the material things right. in life. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that we shouldn't and have not that. that. We you don't. Know? <laughs> you know, and we all still do. I you still want to right. Yeah, hell yeah. Right now, I'm toying on the Corolla right now, but I still like me a Camry. So yeah. I'm just gonna go levels. I'm just gonna take levels of this shit. So I'm gonna turn you on to the Camry from the Corolla, you know, things then Mercedes, you know. So right. I, I'm a I'm a stepper. You know, yeah, I take that's, steps. That's, that's all and it that's is. what we all should do, take mm-hmm. steps and not try to just leap jump. Ain't nothing wrong with jumping. Now. Right. It's nothing right. wrong with going for it. You know, but just um you you know, take it slow sometimes. Yeah, and yeah. by you just talking about the key med, your studies, now we got the God's Kingdom clothing. Yes. A uh, representer right now. <laughs> I must say, I feel good. I feel like a goddess. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I put on this shit today. You know, you it came in the mail and I was like, no, oh, fuck this shit in. I was, you know, I was Christmas early. You know what I'm saying? I put it on and I'm like, oh. Nice. This nice. feels good. You yeah. know, I feel, yeah. you know, just... Just how it represents, right? You know, it's right. um. So, so how did the God's Kingdom clothing come about? Well, it's actually, you know, just an extension of myself. Absolutely. You know, um, it's I, I kind of. She says like I'm kind of like a octopus. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah like, doing uh, a lot. Got yeah, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah, a lot yeah, of arms yeah. and shit. But it's all, it's, you, but it's still octopus. But it's, but it's but still you're... connected to right, me. Right, you know, it's still right, me, right, but it's just right. extensions. Just like a yeah, tree, you know, yeah. with branches. Yeah. So, we, you know, we, we, we started the, the printing company um, where we was doing other people's apparel. And I was just like, hey, maybe it's time, you know, that I, I have a visual representation Absolutely. of what I'm about, what the music is about, what the company is about. You know what I mean? So... You know, it came up with God's kingdom clothing, and just like how our ancestors, our ancestors speak to us through, through um, you know, hieroglyphs. You know, I wanted 
just to quote them to be images. Right. You know images I mean? of that. You know what right, I mean? Because so, right. they're talking pieces. Because you're going to wear this and somebody's going to ask you, what, what is that? Who is that? <laughs> and I'm going to be like, oh, you know I, I, mean? I forgot to ask yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I put it on. So let's, let's go into that right now. All right. So, so I won't be so, looking stupid. So let me explain. You so this is, this, is, this is Hepshepset, right? Mm -hmm. So she is not, she's reported to be not the first female pharaoh, okay. but the first female pharaoh to have total control. Okay. You know what I mean? That's why she has the crook and the, and the flail. Okay. You know, Absolutely. Um, yeah. So she was the first first female um, female pharaoh to have full control. Okay. You know what I mean? So then over here you got the, the G, you know, and the frequency. So that's for God frequency. Mm -hmm. And it's on the left slide because that's the side so closest to your heart. To the heart. Yeah. Absolutely. And then over here you got the G frequency. See. So when you pull it over your head. Oh uh, shit, no. Nah. See, yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be turned <laughs> the fuck up with this. So when you put it over your head, it connects it connects with your pineal gland. To the pineal gland, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you oh my goodness. So, so I'll be yeah. ordering me some more, <laughs> you know, this week. I and I'm gonna need it real fast. So okay. I'll be meeting right. you in the right. street right. somewhere because right. I, I got to have it. I motherfucker got to have it. Because this feels good. Good. And um and I and I like the representation that you're presenting of it. You know, it's just mm. not putting on clothes. Right. You know, and right. we do that sometimes. We just put stuff on and we just go to wearing it, you know, and mm -hmm. and and um I appreciate this right. again as well as I appreciate your music. So with this, how do you see this brand? Because again, it's something before it's time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. our people don't, you know, we we see these hieroglyphics on TV right. or we see it, um, shoot, not much at right. all. You right. know what I'm saying? Because a lot of our kids don't see this type of imagery because we have uh, been watered down. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. we see the movie with the or white whitewashed, man. right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, and, and no disrespect right. to the movie makers. Right. but No, disrespect to the movie makers because they, 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 it's a misrepresentation. You know yeah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> shit, no. Nah. Since, since y'all want to misrepresent, Fuck that shit, you know. <laughs> Damn that. So yeah, yeah you're right, you're right, mm -hmm. and we got to stop giving them that uh, that 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 you know yeah. the, the, the the okay on that. Right, because they don't they don't they okay. don't they don't use white slaves when they try Absolutely. to make slaves. You know no, what I mean? so, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. So yeah, we gonna go with mm -hmm. that. We gonna tell them to stop it. Is the now is the time that we need to really just start embracing ourselves. Exactly. You know, for who we are, and mm -hmm. they already know who we are. Exactly. That's why we so in so much danger. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the black man catch so much hell. Because they know who who was first, right. who 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 created, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Who God image was created, you know, right. who, the image that we were created in, you know, it was our image, right. you know. Right. And a lot of people don't know that. And that's why we are, like you said, getting watered down. Mm -hmm. You know, we, mm -hmm. we we walk around with our pants down and no disrespect, but it's disrespectful. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And for those that do it, you know, we need to change that. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and I appreciate you kind of like giving us that uplift because like I said when you put it on you have you must have put a little spirit in it or something because you feel good you know what I'm you, you you put a little something when you was printing it you was putting some roots on it well you know it's you like know? it's like it's like it's like it's like when you get good food right right you right. know when a person loves their food absolutely and you know when you know when a person loves to cook and you taste it yes you taste the that's love. the same that's the same and, feeling and, that and, goes into the cook and and because I make everything by you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, doesn't come from a manufacturing no. plant. You know what I mean? Like, of course, the sweater I get. You right, know, we got to do that. But as far as the design and everything, that's, that's, your you know, the printing and all that is my hands on So, it. and it, so it's yeah. taking your feeling and yeah. it's taking your, and, and that's good. And see, a lot yeah. of people don't know that when they're putting on clothes, because you do feel something. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you can feel factories. You can mm -hmm. feel a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. you really do. But that's only if you're in tune with yourself. You right, know, that, right. that, that that's a whole nother situation, a, a whole nother time right. to, to even speak <laughs> on. But absolutely, you feel what you put on, you mm -hmm. know. And this is a good feeling. And yeah. I'm, um, I love it. I love it. I appreciate so, it. So, um, with that being said, you how, how do you feel when people be asking? Because we was all talking about the discount. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, let me get that for the, you know, do you get a lot of that? No. You, uh, <laughs> tell me about that. <laughs> no. You said no. <laughs> I really, no. no, I really don't. I think I think people res not only respect me, but respect 
black owned business a lot more now. Okay. You know what I mean? And 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 the and the, the demographic that I cater to, you know, they have an understanding. Like, cause I get people be like, yo, they hit me up in the DM, be like, yo, I'm saving up to buy one of your jokes. Yeah, gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. They're not saying, yo, can I get, get it? Get a deal. They will, you know, I'm gonna get I, it. And I, I always throw discounts out there. You know what I mean? Like right. there's, you know, there's a there's a standing, you know, um first time buyer fifteen percent discount. You know what I mean? Um and I threw I throw little flash sales mm -hmm, out mm -hmm. there. Or whatever you know. Of course, I did Black Friday, you know, right. things of that nature. So right. I, 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 I do that. You know right. what I mean? Because right. I, I do want people. It's, it's, it's not about making the money for me. You know what I mean? It's more about people feeling like I said. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clothing that's supposed to. It's mo is meant to enlighten, empower, and educate. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So. You know, I'm more so. I want to. It makes me feel good when I see people wearing with it. With it on. You know what I mean? Because they look like they feel good in it. it you know I, what I mean? Trust me, they, yeah. it, and I do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it takes you to another level, right. and it, and I'm just I'm 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 I really am a living witness right now that you do get a feeling, you do Appreciate get an experience. That. You know, Appreciate um, it. it's a it's a moment that everybody should feel. Like, mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. and and I hope it makes people. Want want to study you know what i'm yeah, saying when exactly. you see it you're not just putting on something and like oh man i just you know just threw this on today mm -hmm. and what was crazy is it, it it's like the the whole outfit put itself together you know yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah. i'm like damn i got me green oh you know i said yeah. but i'm gonna stick my, the, my leopard socks <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go all the way zulu and shit you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> All the way with it. You know? <laughs> so you know, so that's it, hilarious. It is this. This just where you know where I um where I was with this. So right. I'm very grateful, and, and it's always a pleasure to see you. It's always a pleasure to just talk, you know, and get mm -hmm. get the feel of you know who you are and you know what you're bringing, and you're not just you're not just um selling clothes. No, you know no, what I'm no, 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 you no. Know, definitely, you, it's, definitely it's, not. It's an yeah. experience, and and even with your music, it's an experience. Right. And like I said, you clearly before your time, and I'm glad that you're teaching. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just having people and an impression on your shirt because I'm 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 curious about that because I see a, a life and death look. Right. You know. So tell me about your shirt. Well, it's it's you know it's it's it's, it's a symbol of our experience. Uh -huh. You know, we live and then we die. Absolutely. You know what I mean. But within that, like you see the pharaoh, the pharaoh symbol, and also the crook and flail. In life and death, you you know, we come into life, we come into life, and growing to be kings and queens and gods and goddesses, you know. So we should die as that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So that's a good, that's a good. See, just not just not putting out stuff. No, know? no. I mean, I I really, I really, it, and it takes me a while to 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 develop designs because. You know, not only do do the colorways have to match, because you know how in Home Depot you got oops paint. Uh -huh. I got a lot of oops shirts. Whereas, like, I she be like, "Nah, it look good." I'm like, "Nah, uh -huh, uh -huh. I just don't. It, it's not what I'm looking for." Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm you know what I mean. What so it takes me a while. But to yeah, I take those up. oops shirts. Too. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they do good to me. <laughs> but so no, they, just, don't scrap they stuff. just don't be having the right, you know. And you don't really know it until you actually print it. You know what I mean? So it's like you know, it's it's, it's a process to mm -hmm. go through. So yeah, okay. I, I do think out you know the designs, okay. the images, okay, and stuff like that because it's not it's not your it's not your typical thing. Like you got a lot of faith based brands out there that you have a lot of like you know motivational brands and, you know, trapping right, and hustling right, and stuff right, like that. Right. So it's kind of like, I just, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do words. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like, I just wanted, I just wanted images that had just have people when they wear, like I said, they have talking pieces. Yeah. You know, and it, it creates the conversation, you yeah. know, so, you know, it might motivate somebody else to be like, oh, I'm going to go study this. Absolutely. Go and that's means. what I really you know hope I mean? that we, when we, when, when I wear it, I hope mm -hmm. that I'm going to be influencing people to want to know. Right. Want to know right. what this is. Want to know who she is. 
want to know because this is to, to hear what you say how she is mm-hmm. it is me you know it's me <laughs> so, you know woman of power right I, I, exactly. That, you know, exactly I am you know exactly. so you know and I have to grow into that mm-hmm. you know myself mm-hmm. you know because right. I have downplayed myself too sometimes right like we do you know we get down and we um you know we just be feeling like hey, am I, you know I'm not doing enough you know what I'm saying I need to be you know because mm-hmm. we see people doing right. things and um that's and I and I tell you one the one thing that'll help you do that is taking the word humble out of your vocabulary. Oh, and that's what I try to stay at, but fuck I that. hate I hate the word humble. Humble that old humble pie shit. I hate it. Ha! Let I me go eat some it. humble pie me shit out somewhere. Because how can you inspire people being humble? Right, right. You can't. Right. You right, know what I mean? Like right. be great. Because that's yep. what people love. People yep. love greatness. Right. Like we look Absolutely. at we look at Michael Jordan. We look at Jay Z. We look at all the greats. They're great because right. they're great, right. and they show right. that they're right. great. Right, right, Man, right. that humble shit don't ain't work. Ain't working. <laughs> that ain't enough of that already. You know, be gone, Mitch. So right. that, now y'all don't fucked up now. Yeah. See, it's over with now. Now. <laughs> oh, it's over now. You know, so I ain't no more of that. Oh, I've been humble, yeah. showing my uh-huh. humility and shit. Nah, no, hell. that's over with. You know, yeah. this today, not this year, today yeah, right. is over with. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I I appreciate this conversation, you know, mm-hmm. just on some real shit. Even though we were slick talking about it earlier right. and they and we were supposed to have been talking about they was talking about me, you know, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, the humble shit is over. The price is up, y'all. Right. <laughs> it's on now. Right, right. <laughs> so, right. So yeah, and um man, I respect your game, you know what I'm saying? I respect I respect it real totally. Thank so, you. I what I got a question about that what I want to ask and what I what I like to ask of people. Mm-hmm. Because of this year's 2021. What did 2020? Because that was like some fucked up shit, you know. And a lot of people kind of got a chance to learn. Right. What was 2020 like to you? How how did that get you to the, to the now? Um, 2020 was the opportunity to to show who was really doing it as opposed to who wasn't. Okay, you know because you know for me it was a, it was a level up year for me. Okay, because I had the time to really focus and hone in on certain things. I mean, you know. Started the we started the printing company okay. in twenty twenty okay um you know and everything just started kind of developing from 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 there you know um I learned a lot I learned how to do graphics and, right you know because once again there was nothing else right to pretty much do the you time, know what I mean the yeah time. the time you, you, so you had time yeah like so know. if people didn't take that time take didn't take twenty twenty to at least learn a new skill absolutely you know what I mean like. And like I said, it, it separated the people who were doing it from people who weren't doing it because you couldn't hide anymore. Right. Even though we were in the house, you couldn't hide anymore. You know what right. I mean? You, could, you, you, you couldn't say. pop no more. All you that know what I mean? Like you couldn't front. It you wouldn't do it. Was, you, this is you. <laughs> right. You know what right. I'm saying? You, right. you don't right. have the money for this now. Yeah. You you, you yeah. was you that all that popping mm-hmm. you had been doing mm-hmm. is over. Mm-hmm. With you're yeah. you're you're exposed. Yeah. You know, so twenty twenty did a but, lot of But You know, I did I did and it also you know, it also showed how 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 life can be gone just that quick. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Because I did lose a few people. You know what I mean? And people who you would thought was just like super healthy. You know what right. I mean? One of our partners, like his 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 wife, called me and was like, "Yo, he just dropped dead." No. Nah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And was just like, "God damn!" You know what For I mean? Real? Like, yeah, like yeah. like one of the healthiest dudes I probably knew. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, so. It it, it it taught me, you know, to, to value life, to right. value, right. you know, relationships, friendships, um, and just overall, like, get to it because you don't right. know. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I got I got kids I'm trying to build a legacy for, you Absolutely. know what I mean? So I ain't got no time to play play around, you Absolutely. know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. I can't, I can't leave this earth without giving them a head start right. in life. Because that's I mean? where we, that's where a lot of our families have done messed up. We, exactly. They, they didn't leave us with nothing. Yeah. You yeah. know, we first of all we gotta get the fish fry to bury your ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? right. We gotta nah, we shit. gotta build up money yeah. to bury our mm-hmm. parent, you know, or or our cousins, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is a good time to try to get stuff in order for the future because right. the future is bright, you know, and it's changing, you know, mm-hmm. and things have gone in another direction that um you as a creator you're supposed to be doing something. Right. You know, 2020 right. to me was like 
now. This mm -hmm. is now. Mm -hmm. This is my time now yep. to learn this, learn that, you know, a lot of people figured out their these jobs won by shit. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, in this 2020 situation, you know mm -hmm. what? I made more money sitting at the house, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and this just generally speaking on how a lot of people were, not in, including the law unemployment check, too. You know, mm -hmm. that, that helped out, too. Appreciate yeah. that shit. I mean, it, I, my, my thing is, you take advantage of all the resources Absolutely. that day, and I don't knock nobody for Me taking either. advantage of. Like you did a PPP scam, I, hey, get that money. Absolutely, you know what Absolutely. I mean. Like get all of it. All of you know every time, I mean? every time they say, it, do that shit. But you as know? long as you, it's, but but take it and do something with it. Absolutely, you know what I mean. It wasn't it wasn't for you to go to the strip club. Like you were supposed. That was your level. That up right was your there. level. You know up. what I mean. Like in in a sense, it was kind of a you right. Uh, 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 was it what, what we what we looking for? Uh, what black people want? The, the, uh, the free ride. Uh, the free... Uh, no, 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 no. The retribution. What? Oh, give me reparations. My reparations. reparations. <laughs> it was a, it Thank was you, a, bro. A low level of reparations. Right, right. You know, right, and, and right, I took right. advantage of it too. I yeah. can say that. You know, I got the unemployment while I was still working. I had, hey, the, I had the advantage of. Well, let's take, let's take it easy. Let's yeah, take it yeah, easy. Yeah. Let's take. <laughs> oh, fuck them. I was, I was, I was. No, no, no. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 I was legally working. Oh, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I was on the job I had. We was 24 hours. You stay, oh, it was a way to get it. It wasn't that oh, cheap. Wow, okay. I wasn't stealing no money. I was, my job signed me up for the unemployment. Oh, okay. All right, you know all what all I'm right. saying? <laughs> Ain't nothing I went and did. I mean, if somebody else did yeah. that, good for you. Oh, you know, and, I'm, it, and I'm, yeah. I'm happy for you. But no, yeah. I, I was able to work and I was getting the 24 hours a week. Oh, okay. So I was Got able you. to get the extra money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It just so happened. I was, that was, that was fortunate, man. That yeah. shit don't happen, won't happen ever again. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -mm. you know, when I am getting my extra 700 a week, I was paying off my old credit. You, you know go. what I'm saying? There so that's go. what I did. I took mm -hmm. advantage of getting my credit shit together. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't I didn't just, you know, fuck up their money. You know, like you said, <laughs> fuck these motherfuckers. I'm going to do it now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm legit. So I ain't going to never speak nothing that's going to incriminate myself. Okay. You know right, what I'm good. saying? Right, you know, <laughs> we can go call unemployment Georgia. <laughs> Department of Labor right now. And, you know, I'm approved. You know what I'm saying? So I'm certified. I ain't got the check, but I'm certified. Hilarious. You know? <laughs> this the motherfucking Shannon Jack Lee show. I'm sitting up here with Hell's Yes. Hell's Yeah, how do you decompress? Because I know you're a cigar guy. Yes. And I know you, you're a member of the Cigar City Club? Yes. Tell me about the Cigar City Club because I, well, I, I need to go I mean, find first of all, them. it's black owned. Absolutely. You know what I Absolutely. Mean? Um, and it's a it's it's one of the only places that I go hang out at. Okay. You know, I don't go to the club okay. a lot of that. You know, it's one of those places where, like I said, I can have my cigar, I can have my my scotch, you know, and really I get I, I, I sit there on my iPad. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's right. a it's a it's a place for me to get out of the environment. Right. You know, still be calm and also yeah, be able to yeah. network because, you know, I actually the our printing company does their shirts. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? So um you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a networking um, place as well. Okay. You know, a lot of affluent folks there. Absolutely. You know what I mean. So it's just it's just it's just a really dope vibe, and um, yeah, that's my time to decompress. Ooh, Your time to, you yeah, know what I mean? like, be 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 me. Okay, enough. Yeah, the yeah. guard must relax. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no yeah, more yeah. time to just yeah. have to be up. You know how we right. have to always. Yeah. Entertain, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It seemed like, you know, that's why I be hating when my mama had company. I'd be like, fuck, man, I don't want to have to entertain. Yeah, yeah, you know, now yeah, I got to yeah. make folks laugh. Right. And <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? You have to yeah. always be acting, right, you know, right. and, 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 and nothing wrong with acting. It's not mm -hmm. a flex. It's just what we have to do, you right. know what I'm saying, when we are around people. Yeah. And, um, and, and I did, you know, I, I became a member because I went there a couple of times and I didn't have no place to sit. Oh, we don't like yeah, that. Yeah, so I, <laughs> no, sir. Uh, oh Lord, are you serious? Yeah, so is that yeah. many people? Yeah, yeah. So they there? have a, they have a, they have a member section that is only for members. So okay, it gotcha. was like ah, I want to be over there. I need to be over there. Yeah. I don't need to be yeah. sitting down here yeah. or or standing yeah. here trying to smoke right. and relax. That's yeah. not good. Nah. Have you ever been to the Ace and Cigar Bar up the Bone Road? Nah, I haven't. I, uh, I heard about it though. Oh, you did? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It? Um, yeah, you know, we talk about all the cigar the little spots. spots. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Because yeah, yeah. I live close by it and I haven't, um, I've been wanting to partake in. I hear a nice little spot though. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's just, it's just, you know, far from you, far from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's, that's I haven't kinda... even been to, to Cam Newton's spot fellowship. 
I yeah. heard about yeah, that that's, too. But that's downtown, and I don't like parking downtown. And see that there, there we go. You we know, not finna so. do all of that. Right. We don't want to have right. to be parking here, doing mm-hmm. that, doing and that, breaking so. in your car. And all that, that want to come back out. I look been yeah. chilling, and now I gotta turn up because I'm mad right. as hell. Right, right, right. Turn right. my book bag. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so why not just go so where stay I know where you know where is that? Right, right, right. So shout out to you. We gonna shout out the Cigar City Club. That's what Sandy Spring. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. good, good. So mm-hmm. black on. So we yes. gotta we definitely gotta c- congratulate those that are doing these things. Yeah. And um I'm um shoot, I might have to take a ride up there. I might not become a member, but I can come in with nah, a member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, I know him. He, <laughs> I you know, pull one of those. Oh, oh, I'm with him. You know, I'm with him. <laughs> We're together. He said, um, oh, girl, you come to the door because they, they talking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Meet me at the door, shit. Mm-hmm. These niggas at the door acting stupid, you know. And it's one of the few, it's one of the few cigar lounges that you can, you know, come and just sit and smoke your own cigars. Like you don't have to buy a buy cigar one there. from them. Okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's a little spot in Hiram where I live. Um, it, it 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 give me it give me an old redneck vibe, but when because when you go in there, there's a lot of white guys. Yeah, and but they, see, that's the thing about cigar culture. The cigar culture itself is not like that. It's not like that. No discrimination. Yeah. No racism. Yeah. Everybody's you, everybody's family. Whether, you, whether you're smoking a two dollar cigar or a twenty you're there. dollar cigar, like nobody's worried about what kind of cigar you're smoking. Absolutely. Nobody's worried about what your background is and all Who that you stuff. Are. Who you are. Yeah. We just here to, to to do this smoke. Yep. Sip this bourbon. Yep. And have and a good time, you yep. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's because that's what I'm doing when I go to the bar. I would right. I would want me some bourbon, and um, that's that's because I don't I don't smoke weed no more. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? I cut that shit out. I can't take it no more. It's, it's they, they, they they for me they got fentanyl on it, even though they may not. <laughs> but I don't want that. I don't want that no more. So to me, cigars is like the thing. I got some mm-hmm. Tatiana's. Cognac flavors in okay. the car. Well, you know, let, me, the let, me, let me let me tell you about. Oh, tell me. Oh, see yeah, now you finna fuck quick, me up. Real quick. Real nah, quick. shit. Jet dog killed my quick. my real my quick. pop. No, I, no, I, no, no. I, so you know how you know how they you know how they smell real good and yeah, taste real sweet, good. Like, so you would rather go like Tatiana's are are sprayed. Okay. Oh, so yeah. you won't say. But no, it's hard. It's not a horrible thing. But? you would rather an infused cigar. Okay. You know what I mean? So an infused cigar, they soak the tobacco leaves in the flavor that it that they wanted, wanted to be. Wanted to be. Okay. So the Javas, Javas okay. are really good cigars. Um Crazy Alice is a really good cigar. Okay. Drew Estate. Teach me. Those are really Teach me so Yeah, I so can if do you want right? if you like flavor and you like, yeah. you know, you don't want it do, the bitter chocolatey, nutty. That, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Those are cigars. No, you but the go bitter with. nutty chocolate Bitter nutty chocolate. Well, that sounds jobless. good. Yeah, 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 bitter nutty chocolate. Yeah, 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 nasty like. Take it easy. Take it easy. This is Johnny Jackson show. Sorry. <laughs> take it easy. Jack Carraway. You know the, the mind travels. You know the nasty phones. Oh, you know all that. All that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So. <laughs> I kill myself yeah. sometimes, but uh, nah, but those are those are like no smoke the Tatiana's no, they good, but no, once you get no, no. once you done oh, with those oh but see now that yeah. I've been taught you know when you know yeah. better you do better right, so that's right, what right. that's where I'm at I'm mm-hmm. with the G teach me educate me let me know you know For so sure. that's definitely where I'm gonna be going next to the mm-hmm. infusion yeah. the Java right mm-hmm, Java, okay yeah. so okay see mm-hmm. I ain't missed that I ain't, yeah. I'm not missing it I listen to the teacher sometimes <laughs> but I'm gonna be talking in the class you know what I'm saying <laughs> so you know I appreciate you sitting here with me no doubt and uh we gonna we gonna get this off on the ebb and visions you know what i'm saying this is the studio i love i fucking with the ebb and visions nice little vibe man yes, so i can't is. smoke my cigars yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. we ain't gonna we, talk about it we ain't gonna, we talk, gonna, about we gonna <laughs> talk about that we gonna stand outside and talk about that you know what i'm saying but no it is what it is you know we doing this and um we we gonna we gonna make it pop regardless sure. you know what sure. i'm saying so this is the shannon jack me show i'm here with hells yeah let everybody know how they can get your clothing and what you know even even hear your music music oh i mean your um, platforms that you wait we yeah 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 I, I mean i'm heavy on you know a lot on instagram god's kingdom clothing g-o-d-z kingdom clothing um god's kingdom clothing.com you know um that's where you will find pretty much everything okay um as far as clothing wise okay musically of course all the regular platforms spotify you know um the website is one dynasty um ent.com okay you know uh Spotify, title, YouTube, all that. All that. Yeah, got all you, that. got you, all got that. you. Okay, then. Well, that's it. You know, Shannon Jack, me signing off. I appreciate you for being here. And, you know, we just going no t- to take it having. to the next level. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, we yes. guards right here. So, yeah. You know, feel good clothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Feel good clothing. <laughs> and we out. 
Are we out?